Dear Diary, this is how 27 feels. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fasiana Joyce. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. So today guys, I want to talk to you about a very sensitive topic, like something that has been on my mind for a long period of time, like turning 27. <laughs> it's basically regarding the topic of age and feeling that you should be somewhere that you're not and just feeling behind, feeling delayed, feeling forgotten feeling like time is running out feeling old <laughs> feeling low feeling sad feeling resentful feeling there's so many emotions so as for the title of this video y'all can clearly see that i'm 27 I just turned 27 and boy it's a lot of emotions <laughs> it's a lot of emotions but before we get into the video make sure to like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and you know if you're into real honest authentic content lifestyle content fashion content you know stick around so i really want to kind of structure this video because i can go off on a whole tangent and it just be like a real negative thing so i really want to tell you guys about my experience how i'm currently feeling as a 27 year old woman and i would also like to tell you about how i'd like to feel and what i'd rather focus on and how i'm going to try overcome these feelings and emotions by trusting in the lord and affirming myself certain affirmations affirming myself you know the goodness of the lord basically let's start off just by telling you how i feel the mood what what is going on at 27 like what what does it feel like so essentially i turned 27 on the 8th of october whoop, whoop. so for a long time i was telling my friends like i don't want to do anything at the beginning of the year i was literally like flirting with the idea of like having a party and like doing something big for my 27th because i feel like i haven't thrown a party in a very long time last time i threw a party was on my 16th birthday and I'm traumatized so that's probably why but I really haven't done anything like huge for my birthday in a long time so I really thought that you know this year maybe I could do something you know nice I could like throw a party but then as the months started getting closer I was like who am I actually throwing a party for is it for myself is it for other people like what who, who am I doing this for like why am I so like why am I really entertaining this idea of having a party? So I quickly like, you know, kind of negated that idea, especially at this point in my life, like where I don't really feel extremely proud of myself. Like, why am I doing this type of thing? Do you know what I mean? And that goes on to obviously how I'm feeling in regards to obviously not really feeling like I'm where I'm supposed to be. Um, I don't really feel necessarily proud of myself or that I've achieved anything, you know, concrete i was literally just wanting to like go to church um because my birthday fell on a sunday this year praise the lord like i really feel like the, i really feel like if it, it fell on a sunday for a reason because i feel like if it fell like on a friday or saturday i would have been so compelled to like do something like you know huge for my birthday and it's like it was unnecessary in my eyes so i thank the lord that it was on a sunday and i didn't have that much pressure to like do something but then my friends ended up like planning a little brunch which i wasn't mad about it was just like something like that we could do after church so we did that it was a really cute day like i really appreciate my friends for turning up and you know it made me smile like it was like a good celebration like after church it felt nice i felt light i felt you know i felt happy i felt joyful i didn't feel like i had like this huge expectation of my birthday so that was really good so the birthday celebration in itself was really good and i enjoyed it but the thought of being 27 i think is what just i think is what had been daunting me i feel like 26 <laughs> 26 is after 25 and obviously 25 is like 
five years until 30 so you feel like you feel somewhat young but you're also like okay maybe i need to start getting my act together 26 is like okay you're still young but like okay i'll let you off type of thing and then 27 i believe is when stuff is starting to get real like i'm three years away from 30. let's deep that three years away from 30. <laughs> oh father that is a big age the big three zero the big three zero like it really really scares me i don't know why but i have like this scary feeling about turning 30 and above like i really just feel like at 30 plus i really need to have my life together like there's no room for like confusion there's no room for disorganization and like you know disorientation like i really need to be focused i really need to figure my stuff out and have it together like there's no room to be messing up because 30 means i'm very close to having kids and to have kids i need to i need to be straight 27 currently feels like um it's just really daunting like i said it's just really daunting and like i just feel like 30 is literally creeping up on me a couple of things that i guess are making me feel this way is the fact that i don't have my own space like i'm still living at home with my mother and my four siblings and my stepdad and it's like girl 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 i feel like i blame myself a lot like i feel like i'm really shameful of myself when it comes to this kind of topic because i feel like it goes hand in hand with finance management and i really don't feel like i have the tools or i didn't have the tools to manage my finances properly and that's been from a very young age i've been working since i was 16 years old like i started at mcdonald's i I had several jobs, McDonald's, Nando's, House of Fraser, Vodafone, Capita, um, I used to work in a nursery, like I've had several jobs. When it came to a job, like God always had me, like I always had a job and it's like someone who's been working since she was 16, why do I not have more to show for myself? Why do I not have more investments? Why do I not have more savings? Do you know what I mean? And it's really shameful like i really do like shame myself at times for like not having it all the way together with my finances because as a 27 year old like why why do you not have savings like that in your account obviously if you're a 27 year old and you're in the same position and you're happy with that that's completely fine i'm literally talking about myself and like where i thought i'd see myself to get at 25 i really believed that i'd have a husband and kids like growing up i really thought that was possible which it is but for my story evidently not <laughs> it wasn't possible it was not in god's plans like god had not written that in the beginning before he formed me in my mother's womb he did not say those words that i would have it all together by the age of 25 that was never in god's plans evidently <laughs> obviously not to blame my parents um, because obviously they could only give me what was given to them type of thing I just wasn't taught how to manage my finances I really wasn't and if we're gonna keep it all the way a buck like I didn't see a good model of that in my home so I never really took much importance to it it's only later on that I really started seeing things I'm obviously a product of my environment and <laughs> here I am like you know kind of resenting myself and not have for not being in a better situation financially so that's one of the areas that i feel makes me feel this way in regards to feeling unaccomplished and um i just feel real incompetent at times yeah i feel like a failure at times yeah so yeah so that's two reasons as to why i feel the way i do at the age of 27 so I'm still loving at my mum's house and still no real financial evidence of my works another reason as to why i feel like a failure at the age of 27 is that i don't really feel like i've taken any risks per se um i have always had like several ideas like as in like entrepreneurial ideas 
for a very long time like I think I remember probably being in college and like I had dreams of like owning a fashion label a swimwear label and those type of things have always like been my dream and I've always like always started a process always like you know attempted to do something like bought certain materials contacted certain people you know started organizing and scheduling certain things planning certain things and then nothing ever comes to fruition. I feel that God plans a lot of things in my mind in regards to the type of things that I could be investing my time in, resources in, and I just feel like I never bring anything into fruition. I feel like I'm very inconsistent, not disciplined in any way, shape or form, and I never really bring my ideas into life, and that is something that really disappoints me day in and day out, because I have so many ideas, so many things that I could have been done and be doing till this day and I just never see things through and that's another reason why I'm like damn like at 27 why have I still not learnt this like why have I still not like you know kind of overcome this kind of inconsistency aspect of me like why am I always so inconsistent why do I procrastinate the way that I do why can I never see things through like I really will start something I will be passionate about something for a very long time and I even think this is a spirit so I got I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ but I feel like there's always been this kind of barrier this kind of um, wall whenever I try to do something whenever I try to create something like I feel like it just never produces its fruits like I feel like it just never comes to fruition even with the YouTube thing like I love doing YouTube I love creating videos I love content creation but somehow I really struggle with consistency and I've been doing YouTube since university like I feel like I never complete things and I really have been praying to God about this so that he changes my mind renews my heart renews my mind and my actions and like my habits and like I really just want to be a renewed person because the way I've been functioning like it can't it can't keep going on like this like it really cannot like it's very like you know if I'm ever to fulfill God's purpose on this earth like I can't keep being the person that I am like I really need to change my ways and that's one of the major major factors as to why I feel like a failure at times because it's not that I haven't wanted to do anything it's not that I haven't had ideas it's not that I haven't had a word from God it's that I can never bring things into completion and it saddens me. I know that those feelings and emotions as a result of that is only a product of my own, I guess, mentality and perspective, but I know that God loves me regardless. So just to put that out there type of thing, but that's another reason as to why I feel the way that I do at the age of 27. Like, why are you so inconsistent? Why are you always procrastinating? You know? Another reason as to why I feel like a failure at the age of 27 is that, I ain't got no boyfriend, I ain't got no fiance, I ain't got no husband, I ain't even got a date. I ain't dating nobody, like nobody, and I ain't got no kids. And of course I wouldn't want no kids without a husband, but like, I... <laughs> I talk to guys, but it's not like... <sighs> I feel like I'm really unlucky in love. I feel that my past experiences with men um, romantically has just never amounted to anything like worthy like it's just never been anything worthy it's just never been anything like that God could really rise up and like it's just always been nothing like literally every situation that I've ever been in with the guy whether it was relationship situationship just dating like nothing ever amounts to anything I know for myself that obviously I'm a pretty girl and like you know I feel like I've got really good values and I know what I want in a guy yeah but I feel like often the men that I allow to come into my life are not a reflection of like what I want for myself and like where I see myself and like what I actually want in a relationship so it's like I'm mad at myself for allowing myself to be put in situations that I've been put in and it's like why do I continuously allow certain men to come into my life come back into my life why do I actively actively seek certain guys that I know are not good for me so it's like 
at the age of 27 I should really know better at the age of 27 I should be extremely strict as to who I let in to my life like that like on an intimate level I feel like I really need to be way more stricter than what I have been when you have the external pressures as well um family asking you why you don't have a boyfriend every time you see them my mom asking me why i am the way that i am why can't i just find a good boy and like you know be with him and like you know marry off and like aunties at every function asking me how's your boyfriend why don't you have a boyfriend yet like what's wrong and like and it's like bro like what do you mean <laughs> if only you knew how much i actually want that because i feel like that's an essential part of life i feel like finding someone who you can do life with and like build a family with is extremely important and i feel like it's one of the most important decisions that we can ever make like choosing who our partner is going to be who we're going to marry with and remain in communion with for the rest of our life is a huge responsibility it's a huge decision to make and i think about that a lot and i actually really do take that seriously like i'm a lover girl I want to be in love i want to be in a relationship so like what do you mean why 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 i can't tell you why i don't know why what do you mean so still living at my mama house bad 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 financial management no discipline consistency huge procrastinator and all means yeah been saying for a long time like i really just feel like i'm going through changes once again and i feel like i'm you know heading towards a different kind of space mentally and i just pray that god really works in me and like really brings me out of this season because i'm sick of like feeling sorry for myself and really want to work at it and begin to like make the improvements that i need to make so with saying that i want to move on to how i plan to overcome this with affirmations and i think going back to the word is extremely important so i think being grateful is one of the most important things that we can do as children of God as humans in general like I feel like we take things for granted I feel like we take so much for granted and I feel like we're often so focused on what we don't have what we wish we could have what the other person has that we forget to acknowledge the good that we also have in our lives we can't allow the negatives or the or the absences in our lives to like overshadow the good and the things that we do have and you know the things that we should be grateful for so although i am feeling like this although i don't feel like this all the time because there's obviously days where i wake up and i'm like full of energy burst and i'm like let's get it although i do feel this thing i will say i always feel an overwhelming sense of peace from god that it will be what it will be do you know what i mean even if i leave this earth and i have no man even if i leave this earth like unmarried with no kids like it was supposed to be even if i leave this earth having still lived in my mom's house it is what it is that's how it was supposed to be even if i leave this world with less than 5k in my bank account it is what it it, it, it is what it was supposed to be do you get it god has a divine timing and you know things will happen when they're supposed to happen and i just feel that peace although i do have like these negative type of feelings and emotions and thoughts running through my mind like i still have that peace of god that tells me god's timing never fails so i just want to end the video on affirming some of the things i am very grateful for despite of these kind of negative feelings and emotions that i often feel with being 27 i feel like in life we really do allow the negative to overshadow the goodness in our life and we often miss what god is working on because we're so focused on like what we don't have what we wish we had and what the other person is doing and the moment we begin to like take it all in and like just be grateful for all that he has done and all that he will continue to do and all that you have because the scripture does say that we have everything that we need for life and godliness so it's like i lack nothing like i actually lack nothing god has given me everything that i need and the moment i'm able to kind of anchor into that i can begin to appreciate the goodness of the lord so i just really want to end the video on like giving thanks to god for all the things that i do have god will not forsake me because he has plans to prosper me and not to harm me and we know that 
in all things God works for the good of those who love him and who have been called and I have been called okay I have been called I am a child of God I am a child of the most high God the king of kings the lord of lords because greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world and God did not give me a spirit of fear and timidity but of power love and self-control like God did that for me. God has got my back. God is with me. A really important scripture that I think is important to highlight when we're talking about gratitude is 1 Thessalonians 5 16 to 18. Like when I came across this passage like I was like God thank you like thank you for real so it says rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ so in Christ Jesus sorry so rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus it's the give thanks in all circumstances for me because even though <laughs> even though I'm still laid up in my mama house thank you Jesus thank you God because I still have a roof over my head so yes you're not where you thought you should be you feel like a failure you feel resentful you feel disappointment but give thanks in your circumstance like identify at least three things in your current life that you are thankful and grateful for and remind yourself of that every single day anchor yourself in that fix the posture of your heart stop focusing on the negative stop thinking and focusing on shoulda woulda coulda and just focus on the now like what do you have now for God really did give us everything that we need for life and godliness like we like nothing give thanks for all that you have give thanks in all circumstances i feel like that's something that is so pleasing to god because we really can't do anything for him there's nothing that we can give god that he doesn't have already so when we praise him and we thank him and we are grateful for everything he does i feel like it's just real pleasing because if it's anything that we should do <laughs> is be grateful like that's the least we can do is be grateful for like everything that we already have do you know what i mean so just be thankful give thanks in all circumstances that's really something that i am meditating over and it's probably going to be my passage for a long time that i really need to take myself back to because give thanks in all circumstances rejoice always pray continually and i pray that for us all in jesus name thank you father but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i love you and i appreciate you especially if you have stuck with me till the end i really do hope that this video has served as some form of like you know fellowship for someone like being able to like you know discuss these things can be quite difficult and i always want to provide again transparent openness and honesty into my content journey and i just feel like we just all need to be a little bit more transparent a little bit more human you know and yeah i really do hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one ciao